Hi everyone, my name is Julie Lavero. I am the drawing and painting instructor. We are at the Spring Hill campus and this is uh, the culmination of the semester art show titled Journeys in Line and Color. The painting and drawing students have been working really hard all semester and I think that this is a really beautiful way for them to be able to showcase their work and, and show it and introduce it to their families and friends. Um, students have been coming by all day with their families and meeting and walking through with such pride that they just shine. So it's a great opportunity. We love supporting the students and I hope that you enjoy everyone's work. Thank you for viewing. Hi, my name is Robin. I am a student at PHSC in Ms. Lavero's uh, Painting 2 class. I'm working on a series called Abstract Emotions, and this is where I choose the three different emotions and articulate less about what they 
um, less about what they are identified as written down and more about how they actually feel within a person. The idea of the abstract emotion series is to take you through the emotions and kind of put you on that little um, emotional journey, that emotional uh, ride. So we'll start out here. Um, this is passionate. And for passionate, um, one of the key things that sticks out about this painting is it's bright and flashy. And when we talk with passion, we tend to become fiery and flashy and bright. Um, there is one noticeable difference here. You have all the uh, little vines, and there is a vine right here that wraps around the core of the figure. Um, that is to represent and illustrate that when we begin talking passionately, whether it be positive or negative, at some point in the conversation, we want to stop, but we feel constricted and like we can't stop our monologue. So that is uh, the intention with passionate. Um, next over here is free and freedom again and this is all according to me and my own personal feelings if you have different feelings that's great um, freedom according to me makes me feel calm and light and airy like I have wings and I could just float away like the bubbles um, and the coloration too is important here because when you feel free you do just kind of enter that state of bliss and it feels to me shades of blue Last over here we have present. Um, as you can see the background is very drippy as the clock is very uh, drippy as well because when we are focused and we are in the moment on anything we're doing, time starts to slip away. And I know for me, when I get started doing art, I can set a timer for 30 minutes and I can go way beyond that 30 minutes because I'm stuck and time does not exist. I'm very present in the moment. Um, as it says on my uh, description, mental health is very important to me, which is why I decided to do an abstract emotional series. Um, I hope it speaks to you. I hope that you enjoy uh, viewing these particular paintings. Thank you so much. So hi, my name is Belicia Torres Hickerson. Uh, I'm a student here at PHSC in Spring Hill campus. Um, I'm with uh, Julia Overo for the both drawing one and painting one classes. So for this piece here, part of the painting one class, this particular assignment was uh, landscape. Now I'm a huge nature person and whatnot. I not a fan of doing landscapes. You know, you got the big view, clouds, mountains, trees, stuff like that. I don't know, it doesn't really appeal to me, but I love the tiny stuff. So in my description here, I go into it a little bit more, but uh, like when out in nature, hikes and stuff, um, 
you know, people typically, you know, when you go on a hike, you want to see the big view at the end. I'm more of a along the way person. So, oh, look at this, look at this. I like the, the little stuff at the end. And yeah, so for this piece, I tried to get that light emanating from the background, hitting the landscape here at the bottom, the foliage, the mushrooms, and the mushroom right there. Uh, really enjoyed this piece, trying to blur the background, bring more focus to the stuff in the front end here. I uh, had a lot of fun with it. For this drawing here, for drawing one with Julie Lavero, uh, this assignment here was, um, we were focusing on textures. So for this assignment, um, we're supposed to use five different textures together in the same piece. So what I have here, silhouette of a woman, being haloed with a moon, water in the background. So the water texture in the background, I got the moon here, her hair, her clothing, her robe here, the fabric texture, and then her hair, um, and the stars on, on her skin. So this here, uh, to me, is representation of the moon, a very feminine figure, um, herself. The moon controls the tides, the water in the background. Um, I, I really enjoyed this piece. Hi, my name is Natavia. I am a student at PHSC and I am now in Drawing 2. The piece that I submitted to the art exhibit today is my character Kanji Tamashi. He is a character inspired by the show Tokyo Ghoul and I've had him since middle school. He's actually my first ever art piece, well not art piece, but first ever character I ever made. I decided to start with him in my art project due to me wanting to become a concept artist. He was created based off of my based off of the stuff that happened to me back in middle school and high school and that no matter what happens there will always be someone that'll help you heal. And that's the reason why I created him. He's my most relatable character.
my name is Tanisha. I am a student here at PHSC. I am in Ms. Lavero's Painting One class. Uh, these are my submissions for the art show. Um, this would be my first time. Um, it's super uh, exciting for others to see my art. I normally do 3D printing and more of a digital art and actually using acrylic paints in this class has opened horizons for me. Um, some of my paintings do have my 3D printing in it and a new media, which is plaster. I've truly enjoyed this class and super excited for everyone to come in and see others and their art and so much talent within this building. My name is Madison Harrison. I am a student here at PHSC and I have submitted a few of my own artworks here. And so I'm really thankful to be in such an amazing art class that truly just embraces me, embraces my passions, and has helped me grow throughout my art journey. So one of these pieces here, I call it Vacation. It's supposed to express my experience during the pandemic. So you know, I'm sure you all know, the pandemic was a time where we had to be at home, right? And so for me, I really wanted to go somewhere. And so in order to express that, I have a, a laptop 
with two, um, like a, a photo of an airport, two airplanes. And so I kind of want to express that feeling of yearning to go somewhere, but then kind of being stuck at home. And then the second piece that I have, I call an anchor. So it really expresses me and the things I experienced near the end of the pandemic. So near that time, I hurt my knee. I dislocated it. So that's why I have these crutches here, because right after I dislocated my knee, I went straight to the piano to try and still play, because that piano was kind of my anchor during those scary times. And then on the piano, I have a picture of my grandmother's sculpture. So she is someone who was like my anchor during those tough times who helped me, brought me peace. And then I have a picture right here. My mother wrote me a note, told me to breathe whenever I felt anxious or scared. I have a CD player or some CDs there with my father who introduced me to music, which has always been there. I have a metronome from my um, aunt, a family friend who passed away, but she means so much to me, so I wanted to add that there because she also helped me with my whole journey in my life. And the clock is from my granduncle who passed away, but he, his, he also was a musician, and so his love for music always just inspired me. And then I have a cross there that represents my faith, kind of like an anchor to guide me on. So I try to express different parts of myself in these two pieces. And I have two of my pieces right here. So this first one is called hegum, which is the Korean word for a traditional Korean instrument, but it also has a double meaning as it also means to lift a band. And so in this piece I tried, I re, um, reimagined a music video like so I watched a music video and I reimagined like all the things that are going on there into my own original creation and so I try to express the fact that you know sometimes we have all this information that's coming up and sometimes we just need to liberate ourselves to lift that 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 ban of thinking that oh we have to stay in one guided line that society tells us to do but you know no we don't have to do that so I try to express that like facing yourself facing the two different sides of you where you feel like you have to stay in one box or the other side that it makes you feel like you have to, you can just be yourself. And so I try to express that in this piece. And then in this one, um, this piece of oranges, it really expresses my uh, journey through my art. So the very first thing I painted in this art class was oranges, but I really didn't know if I liked how it turned out. So through trying again, through trying different techniques, I actually painted this in black and white first, and then I did a glaze, and so then that brought out the color. And so through trying different techniques and things like that, it actually helped me to realize, you know, to not give up, to keep pushing forward, and to see my progress from before to now.
Hi, my name is Jessica. This is my first year as an art student. I submitted three paintings. This was my favorite piece, actually, out of the three. Um, so I love music. This is my, my career year. I really love to perform and to, um, and to do diff different things with, with music. So um, this piece was named I Love Music because um, this piece is very um, pertaining to me. It's pertaining to what I love. Really, really um, different than what I usually do. So this was my first time drawing it, so I enjoyed it.